Libya, and there's one other. It's on a Pentagon's radar screen to raid. Five to raid. There's a five-year plan to take them over. Yeah, but you know, it, it, all comes, it all comes down to one thing. People are going to die. They're going to die because they're sinners. The wages of sin is death. And the ultimate question, whether the government's involved, whether little men from Mars is, what are you going to do before you're saved, before you die? You're going to get saved. You're going to believe on the Lord Jesus well, Christ. Well, little men are the one to create our DNA. The little men are the one to create our little gray. You mean, you know, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth? Yeah, God's E.T. Tweaking our DNA for thousands of years. That's why you got flying saucers in. And have they have they been tweaking us all that? Why are we getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse? Oh no no. If, if they're intelligent they're not beings. Worse and worse. Go Google star children. Star children. We're not getting worse. No, what we are is. I we, never get. I never. When we, I grew up in high school. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry. When I grew up in high school, no one got shot unless it was accidental. You know what? Today they get shot Sandy, left and right. Sandy Hook. No one died. It's crisis management. Yeah. It, it's crisis actors. It is highly probable Hollywood. It's very possible that nobody, I'm doing research right now, nobody maybe even died at... at okay, in that case, what you're saying, it's all big lies. That's right. And so I just found out yesterday, you're 100% correct. Yesterday, I found out on YouTube, it was a woman from the Clinton administration, and it doesn't matter, Clinton, or don't get into politics thing. She worked for the State Department. She bunch of veterans or whatever and sharing with you. Two years ago there's a ruling in Congress that said media can propagandize and lie all they want. But and it's legal for them to do it. But the it, it, is, uh, okay, if they lie to us, then man's getting worse and worse because he's not that's getting right. Worse. That's right. But we Jesus don't. said, I'm the way, the truth well, and the life. The kids are. No man comes right. on to the Their Father. DNA is being tweaked the, the, they're called star children that can't even relate to this world. Well what if they're DNA what if DNA was a lie? There, there is no such it was no, just no, made no, up no, by no, the scientists. No, no, no. Uh, I, made up by if, if they can make up children being killed in school, they can make up a word called DNA. Uh, how do you know you're here today? Maybe you're made up. Maybe you're a dream. Or maybe you've got a whole fact you were created that uh, so in the know, beginning God you know, created the heaven and earth. What you're doing is you're poo pooing. How do we send rockets up? You think that's just magical? How do you know they do it? We, we threw down a bunch of we threw a, a bunch of stones and dirt on the ground, and it, and, and, it re, and it came back up. It came up, and, and we're able to make rockets. No, we we're given until we were. Uh, we're only our IQ. The smartest person on planet is right now about 200 IQ. One alien race is measured at 450 to 500. So we write a, a book that the people can understand. Got it. So, it, so what you're doing is... people that only have all, maybe 100, an average, or maybe 120 IQ. Wait a minute, hold on. You, you, get, you, you get an alien race, and he comes down here, and he can't even phone home. Yeah, he can't phone home. I don't know, just alien, that's just... What about God, who created all? God, is, that's a story that... Gets, it, it, so is alien. That's a story. It's not a story. There's CIA agents on their death that confess this stuff. There's astronauts. Where are their writings? Ast go on. Go on YouTube and you can find Go on Google. And then no, you'll find I want to see writing. writings. I want to see it right now where I can buy the book. You have to go. To, there's there's many books. As a matter of fact, I even... The, the Vatican even came out. Even in here. You think it, I'm going to believe the Pope? That guy is a religious liar of Satan. I'm not going to believe him. Oh, I know where you're coming from there. But he Everything said, the Pope does goes against the Bible. But I wrote the stink about E.T. and he said, can we baptize E.T.? I said, well, we need to baptize E.T. when one alien race is IQ is measured 450 to 500. Look up Dr. Stephen Greer. I go on the field with Dr. Stephen Greer and there's 300 people just recently The Joshua Tree when the flying saucer showed up on call. 300 to 1,000 people. So where do they come from, these aliens? Well, one, the greys come from Seder and 39 light years away. That's the solar system, the planet Septa. That's, I don't, I'm not a crazy lunatic. I never watched Star Trek. I don't even, never even seen the movies. Star Wars, never in my life. I haven't even seen a little clip of it. I don't even know what it's about. Okay? No, it's Zeta Reticula. And there's multiple alien races. Go to, go to, uh, that's why I say people that are uh, doing biblical research, they need to look at the recent research about multiple civilizations have been on this planet. Well, we, if we do biblical research, which you're talking to a doctor of theology. Okay, so, right. So, 
The Bible says the very first verse, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. He made everything on earth. He made a man and a woman. He didn't make artificial intelligence. Yeah. Man, man, and woman, that's right. That, that's right. And that he, and he, he, I'm not saying that he's the one that created it, but even tweaking our DNA for us. We have biblical artwork. You know, flying saucers running around. Flying saucers. I had a NASA person that does not With your conspiracy, with your conspiracy theories about, what if these flying things were not from outer space, but they're from inner space? They might be. They might be. They might be from here. I believe the flying, I believe personally that these UFOs are from inner space government. Well, That's I, what I, I know. I know that our three manufacturing facilities in the world that make the UFOs. Ours are made of rivets. They say ours are made of rivets. ET grows theirs. But one, I know, one manufacturing facility is in Brazil. But the God that made it all. And you said God made God man made and woman. We see, we were trying to... Says well, that you need to believe to, on the Lord why, Jesus why Christ we, to be saved. Why can't we just uh, believe that it, it's just matter, light, energy... From where? Where did it come from? Why do we have to know that? Where is matter? Why do we have to know that? Because I want to know before I do something. Why do we have to know that? I want to know before... Do we have to I want to know what cyanide is going to do to... I want to know what... Excuse me, sir. I want to know what cyanide is going to do to me before I eat it. I want to know what a, what a woman is going to be like before I marry her. I want to know what that car is going to do okay, from yeah, before I buy it. it but when it comes I want to know what that tree is going to do to my but, house but if I plant it. That well, that's the problem. We always ask any questions in America, in America, the media. Media, the media, the media, and all media, tell you what questions you're supposed to be asking. So you're not able to have the chance. I don't let the media ruin my life. That's good. I just look at the media. I look at the media just to see the highlights of what happened. I found out yesterday that the media. There's a ruling in Congress about the media, and they can lie and propaganda is on what? I've shut the radio and the TV off. No more media. That's the best thing to start right there. Done. It's propaganda. But the main question that the Bible raises, what are you going to do with Jesus Christ? What? You're going to die one day. Yeah, well, everybody wants to, everybody says that. Why? Why are you worried about me? Why are you worried about the souls? Why are you worried? Because the love of God is spread abroad that we are told to go out and tell the people about Jesus Christ. Okay, but why is it? Okay, God, you did it. God said this? Yeah. What did Jesus say this? Jesus said, who's God? Acts 20, 28. Jesus is not God. He's the Son of the Father. No. God. Acts 20. Did Jesus, Christ, did Jesus Christ die on the cross and shed His blood? Historical fact. Highly probable. Well, historical fact, 500 people witnessed it. In the court. So if you think that Jesus Christ died on that cross and shed His blood, let me turn to Acts 20, 28 for you. God's book. And it says... To feed the church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. That's God. So if blood, if God shed his blood, that blood was shed, that's Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is God, according to Acts 20, 28. And that same God is beginning creating. Yeah, he was 100% God and 100% man. I can't explain it any further. My theory is that his DNA was tweaked. That's why the Virgin Mary was it was artificially inseminated by E.T. or, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, uh, artificially, what is it called, where he abducted, abducted he played with the eggs and the, and the sperm, and so he had a higher consciousness. You know, DNA, DNA to me is like eggs. When I was a kid, eggs were good for you. When I was a teenager, eggs were bad for you. When I was an adult, eggs are good for you. And now they're, well... They can stop cancer. Oh, maybe next week oh, they'll, they'll, they'll cause cancer. Yeah, it's and going, I See, know. scientists are, it's, it, it's not, it's good, it's not. You can drink beer, you can't drink beer. Wine's good for you, wine's not good for you. Smoke, they'll probably say it, five it, years it, from now, smoking's it, good for it, you. It's, it's, it's whoever, it, it's the, uh, uh, it, it's the, the, uh, the beef. The, the Beef Council happens to I'll, uh, run the study. Or I'll something. tell you what DNA is to me. Council. I'll tell you what the initials are for DNA for me. G-O-D. Yeah, okay. I, you're closer to what I... Yeah. 
But I, my, my belief is that ETs are on the most frequent of these. Well, you believe in ETs as much as I, I believe in Jesus Christ. We haven't seen either. You haven't seen an ET, and I haven't seen Jesus yet. Well, I, I, I've been invited many times, and I should go so we can see it. Like the go for it. Go. Well, that's your chance. Go for it. Take no, pictures. Saying, Bring uh, your phone. No, take I'm pictures. I'm not saying that there wasn't Christ. I'm not saying there wasn't Christ. No, I'm not saying. Christ. No, you, you said ET. If you have the opportunity I'm to go see saying, your ET, go. I'm just saying you need to bake in the whole ET thing into where it fits in the Bible. Yeah. Because there are, there is artwork with flying saucers, biblical artwork that has flying saucers in the background. And they were flying, and if you were, if you were squirrel, and you're right here, and you saw this going on, you say, oh wow, this is, this is a big deal. Right? Yeah. So we're just squirrels, so we're just squirrels because we're, we're just, we're, the analogy of the squirrel to, to us is like, us to the Telepathy, they don't talk. You just mind telepathy. Yeah, but say, you're talking about things there. coming from the skies, okay? That's right. Isaiah 14, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Well, fallen from heaven. Uh, uh, you, you know, mean, Satan could be so the E.T. So you're saying, so you're saying the that the E.T. could be uh, uh, fallen angels yeah. or a dark spirit or whatever. Yeah. And they want you to believe instead of believing in Jesus Christ. They want to take your eyes what off I'm God. Thinking, what I'm thinking is... And know, that is true. They are created by the God. Bible, part of it is control of the masses. And by saying that the earth... Control of the masses are, all over the, the Bible is free will. Why are flying saucers in biblical artwork? Why are there flying saucers in biblical artwork? Yeah, but there's no flying saucers in the pictures of Jesus from the camera. Oh, there were no cameras? There was no cameras at the times of the Old Testament, David and Jesus? So how do we know there wasn't no... So they were, they, 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 they we don't have no Polaroids, so we don't know if they were... Or not. Uh, or, or, I, mean, documented uh, I can draw a... Uh, uh, paper now, draw a few funny little circles. So you're saying... It doesn't saying, mean that so there was one man. So you're saying... Oh, man has tainted. <laughs> I can go. I can go right now to th that place with the Vatican where they drew on the ceiling. I can go up there and write my name up there. And say, look, it's a heavenly vision that God called my name. Okay. Well, you don't trust anybody. Else. No, I don't. Not man. I trust in God and His Son Jesus Christ. Have you raised, have you raised cars on airplanes? I raised cars and not airplanes. Okay. So you trust your fellow man next to you? No, I don't. I don't trust anybody with a Florida license plate. When I go down that high, if you've no, got a Florida license plate, I beware. What kind of cars did you race? I, I just did drag racing illegally. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about science. No, I did drag racing illegally. Somebody challenged me, I went for it. We had a particular spot. Uh, I it wasn't legal, let's put it that way. Yeah. Well, it was nice talking to you. Were you doing the business when the pyramids were built? No, but they said that God's people were so called out in the land. Was that Goliath was the giant, and there were giants yes. that lived that time? Oh yeah, there's giants all over the Bible. Okay, so then, so then it's possible. And they found their bones recently. Oh, they did. You, you can so you can get pictures so of those bones. A scientist to laying next so to his leg bone. Find out if that race lived, or that species lived at the time when the pyramids were done, and then maybe they had giants. That you want you want to know what the Bible answers to the giants? You want to know what the Bible answer is to those giants? The fallen angels have come down mated with the with the females of mankind. Hey. Genesis. So that, that's really call them ETs, call them fallen angels. There's, I'm, okay. I'm not denying. Listen, so, there's so something out there. The there's powers and principalities. Now we may have Star Wars really going on then. Revelation 12, there's going to be a great war in heaven. Michael and his angels against Satan and his angels. Star Wars is coming. This is from a Bible... Scholar, I am. Yeah, well, I, I, according to, Re uh, according I, to Revelation uh, 12, uh, there's a Star Wars I, coming. I, I, every astronaut knows me, and I don't want to say anything like that. Uh, I've had astronauts meet me about flying saucers. The guys that have been in their International Space Station for over a year. You know, the Bible says that there are powers and principalities in outer space?
Yeah. So we're not we're we're, we're on the same page. So I'm trying to show you we're that on the same page. according to God, that is Satan and his powers out there. That according you're talking. to the inter the powers that be interpretation on the planet at that time that wrote the book, they're evil. But my theory is that they're not evil. I mean, Doctor Doctor uh, Doctor uh, Stephen Greer. Uh, that can go out the field and sort of, he shows up. Uh, he has evidence and has confessions from Air Force people, whatever. But they literally shut down missile silos. They prevented nuclear war from happening. So they shut down. They blew the electronics out of, out of like, let's, like a Titan missile. Let, let's take for a moment the God, the God of the Bible, and everything that we've been talking about. So it comes back to God some way. Now the God of the Bible that we, you and I can agree on, whether, whatever what they are. He says, you need to be born again. You need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ well, before you die. You know, what are you going to do with that? I walk around here, everybody wants to be born again. I say, I've been born again 10,000 times. I've been to I've been to coffee shop things where, where about, I've been born again. Every one of you, I can't go five feet without someone saying, are you born again or born again? I'm gonna, I've been born again. Maybe God's speaking to you through the human I'm, race. I'm going to... I'm gonna. I'm gonna say every time I wake up in the morning, I'm born again. You're not. You're not gonna have an ET come down here and say this is what God said. If an ET no, comes down, this is interpretation from people that made the highest IQ person on the planet to the 200 IQ. So is a college it's textbook in a college room. The interpretation of the idiot that wrote it that they had to change the book in two years because the idiot written by mere mortals. The, it is the, the pen written. of men it's and the ink of Holy God. Spirit. But who is God? The God that created everything, including no, those ETs. not everything. It's all physics and engineering. So evolution. All it is is light, matter, and physics. So that's evolution. And I don't believe in the Big Bang. I believe there was no beginning and no end. It's always... And then how are we here? It's an ebb and flow of energy. It's an ebb and flow of light. It's an ebb and flow of matter. And we're trying to explain. Just like you want to have an end, you want to have an explanation. That's the problem. I do, when I went to Embry Riddle one time, they had the, 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 the Jesuit from the Vatican. He said, hey, he wrote a book and we baptized E.T. Okay? Uh, and there was a girl that came down and said, because he was looking at a star for 20 years, and quantum physics says the observer, the observer changes what you're observing 